is Kritika Nakshatri. Today, we will demonstrate how to configure bandwidth management for voice over IP. To configure bandwidth management for voice over IP, we need to first enable bandwidth management for the WAN interface, create a bandwidth object, configure the required access rules, configure the bandwidth management with the values required. For demonstration purpose, we are using a SonicWall NSA220 with the firmware version 5.9.0.3. Moving to the configuration, go to the Firewall Settings tab, Bandwidth Management which shows up as BWM. Choose Advanced Bandwidth Management Type. Click on Accept. Go back to the Network Interfaces page. Click on the Edit option for the WAN interface. Go to the Advanced tab. Scroll down the page to the Bandwidth Management settings. Here, make sure Enable Interface Egress Bandwidth Limitation and Ingress Bandwidth is enabled. Egress Bandwidth is the upload speed. For demonstration, we are considering a 20 Mbps upload and download speed. This value needs to be entered in KBPS. So we enter 2480. Click on OK to save the settings. Once the maximum bandwidth provided by your ISP has been entered on the WAN interface, go to the Firewall tab, Bandwidth Objects, click on Add to add a new bandwidth object. You can name it as per your requirement. For demonstration, we call it Upload VOIP Bandwidth. Guaranteed Bandwidth, we give 3 Mbps and maximum bandwidth we give 5 Mbps. This means for any voice over IP traffic that's going from LAN to WAN, you would have 3 Mbps guaranteed bandwidth. If the traffic exceeds 3 Mbps, it can go up to 5 Mbps. Click on OK to save the settings. We create the same bandwidth object for download VOIP bandwidth with the same settings. Click on OK to save the settings again. Go to Firewall Access Rules. Choose drop down boxes. From Zone is LAN. To Zone is WAN. Click on OK. By default, we have a rule which allows any source, any destination, any service out. Click on Add. Service is VOIP, select the source as any, destination any, click on add to save the settings. This is one option. Here we are using a service group which is a default VOIP group. This contains all the default ports generally used for voice over IP. If your service provider specifies a custom port or a few custom ports, you can as well create a service object with the ports that are required and pull the group into this access rule. The other option is when you have static IPs on all your phones, you can create an address group with the static IPs of the phones and use this group in the access rule. Once we have created this rule, to apply the bandwidth management for voice over IP traffic, Go to the Bandwidth Management tab, enable Egress Bandwidth Management and Ingress Bandwidth Management. Also enable Tracking Bandwidth Usage. Choose the bandwidth object that we created. Egress Bandwidth is your upload bandwidth and Ingress is the download bandwidth. Click on OK to save the settings. Once this has been configured, if you hover the mouse pointer over the icon that comes up, you will see the actual bandwidth that has been configured and also the bandwidth usage which will give you how much of the bandwidth is being used currently on that rule. This brings us to the end of this video on how to configure bandwidth management for voice over IP.